Hello guys, Chris here, and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 4068 GB GPU in Call of Duty Warzone 2. This one is the MSI Ventus version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers, and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU Z resizable bar is also enabled right there. And over on the left, preparing it with a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and 32 gigabytes of RAM to avoid CPU bottlenecks. Let's get into it shall we oh look at all of that blur it looks so terrible okay we we need to make a couple of changes but let's go over the settings first i'm starting at 1080p and we're also going to test 1440p and 4k and we're using the ultra graphics preset i am going to change the depth of field because that looks really bad okay in this game i don't know why it looks so terrible everything else is set to the preset textures are normal by the way because we only have eight gigabytes of vram something interesting that i noticed uh, a couple of times already is that people tell me stupid because I'm using normal textures with ultra settings and these are not ultra settings. Well, don't blame me, blame Nvidia for putting 8 gigabytes on this GPU. <laughs> it's only set to normal textures so it doesn't stutter uh, and that's the ultra settings preset, okay? Because the developers know that if you set the textures too high it will actually stutter quite a bit. Right now it is pretty smooth the frame time graph is always terrible in this game for some reason but if you disable the one percent lows or the frame time graph altogether you aren't really going to notice any stuttering issues right here as long as you keep the textures on normal of course um now it's getting less than 100 fps on average <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not great I think I am not really gonna blame the 4060 as much as the developers of this game. That was a huge stutter right there. Because they broke the game completely about like a month ago, maybe more than that, maybe like two months ago or so. Whatever, when they introduced the Season 4 update, they completely ruined optimization, which wasn't great to begin with, and now it's even worse. At least it can still get like 60 plus FPS all of the time at 1080p native resolution, well above 60 FPS in fact, this is one of the most intensive areas in the entire game because of the water around this area, and uh, yeah, it's keeping up into like the 90s and 80s, what the hell is happening right there, oh boy, I, I don't like this. Uh, Stop, please. What, what are you doing? What? Uh, I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna... Did it just explode or something? I am so confused right now. We're playing Plunder here, by the way, not actual Battle Royale. Still has a ton of players in the server, obviously. Um, who shot at me? I didn't see anybody. Oh, there he is. Oh, of course, of course. So this is exactly why we're playing Plunder, because I can actually respawn, <laughs> okay? So I'm not gonna get too mad in this game today. Probably. <laughs> anyway, around here, in a little bit of a foresty area with some vegetation, uh, it drops into like the 90s, 80s sometimes. So it's pretty stable overall. It's gonna get like 70 plus all of the time. Don't go by the 1% lows. Once again, those are not accurate at all. Let's enable DLSS quality, okay? And now it seems like we have a little bit of a CPU bottleneck, guys. Even with a 5800X 3D. <laughs> so if you don't have a top of the line CPU, and I mean, this is not the top of the line CPU anymore, of course. That would be like 7800X 3D or the i9-13900K. But this is actually pretty close and it's it's bottlenecking at 46. That's another problem with Warzone 2. They also ruined the CPU optimization about like four or five months ago. <laughs> but anyways, most of the time it's not really CPU bound here with the 4060 and 5800X 3D. We see a little bit of fluctuation there um, in the GPU usage department. But it's not down into like the 70s and 80%. Most of the time it's above 90% and that's exactly what you want. Like for example, right here, which is much less GPU bound, uh, it's getting 140-ish FPS and GPU usage is going down a little bit. Not the end of the world, it's still a high refresh rate experience, but there is a little bit more juice that could be had if you had a faster CPU. Again, I'm not really sure you would get a faster CPU with this GPU anyway, so we should probably move on to 1440p now. <laughs> 
Okay, 1440p is next, it's now applied, no DLSS and still using the Ultra Settings preset without depth of field. It's getting around 60 frames per second, already dropping into the 50s, so it's definitely not going to be a very consistent experience, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Oh boy, we're being tracked. No, this is this is my worst nightmare in this game. Also, I'm not sure if you can spot, but the the contrast levels are way up there right now that we're playing at 1440p in this capture card. It always happens at 1440 for some reason. The person who shot at us, where is he? Or she? What? Oh, the car right there. Oh, oh. What? Why? 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 <laughs> Outnumbered four attackers, of course. Like, what just happened there? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, let's spawn again. I was meaning to tell you while we were playing at 1080p with the LSS quality, by the way, that my i5 13600K, which supposedly is faster than the 5800X 3D in a lot of games, and it is, when overclocked to 5.6 gigahertz actually gets less FPS in Warzone 2 than my 5800X 3D. And that's with DDR5 RAM on the i5 and DDR4 on this CPU, because of course the 5800X 3D doesn't support DDR5. Anyways, if you really want to play at 1440p and have a good visual fidelity experience, uh, you really need DLSS. This is not gonna cut it. It's getting 60 on average, which you might think is pretty decent, you know. And it would be in a single player title, for example. But since this is Warzone 2, people are super sweaty in this game. And it's actually a first person shooter that requires fast reactions, unlike mine. Well, you want 60 plus FPS, you preferably want a high refresh rate experience, and that's why I'm gonna be using the minimum settings preset by the second half of this video. Alright, anyway, quality DLSS first at 1440p Ultra. Seems like it's probably gonna get very similar FPS to 1080p native, which is quite nice. Yeah, not dropping into the 60s even, even by the water, so... Okay! All right, I'll take it. The LSS is kind of a savior for the little 4060 here in Warzone 2. Anyway, people are still hunting for us, even though I died. I thought it would reset when I died, but no. You need to be careful. They're probably somewhere around there. There he is. All right. Oh, boy, I don't have armor plates. There he is. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I forget that we're playing quads, mate. Damn it. <laughs> Looking at Zarqua Hydroelectric from above should be pretty intensive because we're seeing all of that water and it's still above 60 FPS, although dropping slightly. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, there you are. There you are. Well, what I really wanted was to go to this part of the, the map anyways and check the FPS here near vegetation. It's a little bit of a different scenario and it isn't as affected here uh, as the water, for example. Dropping it into like the higher 80s at times, that's pretty good. Let's turn off the LSS, play at 4K. Yeah, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> but it is needed for a complete benchmark. So here we go, 3840 by 2160 using the same settings. All right, we're already on the ground, what? Oh, this is the, the big city. Okay, don't want to be here. That frame time now is totally messed up. And I have noticed that whenever you drop from 60 FPS or are close to 60 FPS, the stuttering, the micro stutters that appear in the frame time graph are actually noticeable. So I can definitely <laughs> tell that the game is super stuttery at the moment. Dropping down into the 30s as well. I just wish they could fix that frame time, honestly. They never did in this game. If it was a smooth frame time with these FPS, it would have been a great experience, honestly. But no, they will never do that. They do not care. People still keep playing this game with stuttering and micro stuttering issues. It's not the end of the world either, because if you have high FPS, you won't feel those micro stuttering issues. So that's fine. And maybe we're actually seeing a, a few more bigger stutters, you know, um, that are very, very noticeable, those literal stops sometimes, because we're playing at 4K now and the VRAM isn't enough for normal textures anymore. So 
what can we do? Well, enable the LSS is the answer. <laughs> Let's do balanced. Not gonna go for quality this time. And we gotta wait a little bit for everything to apply. I... <laughs> That's perfect. Look at those FPS now. We're above 70. That's pretty nice, but we're inside of here. So yeah, here we go. Out here, we do drop into the 50s still. No more like sudden stops though. Although again, the micro stutters are way more noticeable now that we are below 60 FPS or close to 60 FPS most of the time. But again, not many people are going to play at 4K resolution, especially at ultra settings with an RTX 4060, I believe. Even with the LSS and stuff, the, the percentage of people with this GPU that are playing at 4K is probably like 0.5%. <laughs> All right, lastly, let's do 4K with the LSS set to performance and the ultra settings just for a little bit. I'm going to drop in Zarqua once again. Not sure why we ended up with a squad this time around. I just selected play again and uh, here we are. <laughs> Okay, there's an enemy guy right here and an enemy guy behind us. Okay, I'm gonna start counting the FPS right away. We got some water down below. Ooh, what was that? Everything flashed for a second there. Uh, you, my squad is being hunted, obviously, obviously. It, it, always, it always needs to happen. And near the water, it's already dropping into the 50s and 60s, and this isn't even the most intensive water. Again, Zarqua is a little bit more intensive than this. I kind of want to get some kills, you know? The RK770 video was amazing. I killed a bunch of people. This one is just crap for some reason. <laughs> okay, we're back to the more reasonable 1080p resolution for the RTX 4060, and we're using the minimum settings preset with 100% resolution scale, and I did not touch anything else. Squadmates and gentlemen, we're either going to Zarqua Hydroelectric or we're not going at all, and I'm gonna shoot you in the face in the plane. Do you understand? Wait, my plan didn't go as expected. I guess if they jump out, how am I supposed to, to kill them in the plane? Shoot them in the face. They're not in the plane anymore, so... Should have thought that through a little bit more. Anyway, let's start counting the FPS, my friends. And we're getting 140s, 130s here in Zarqua Hydroelectric. And this is because of a little bit of a CPU bottleneck. Right now in the water, it's not CPU bound whatsoever. But uh, up there it was, I think. Yeah, over here, 80 something percent GPU usage at times. Yeah, I thought it was going to run a little bit better than this, actually. Anyway, it's still a high refresh rate experience, you know? Like, you just need the top-of-the-line CPU, almost, to achieve that. All right, let's pretend we went inside. Yes, <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. <laughs> In this area, we can achieve the 150s and 160s at times. If I look at the sky, can we get 200? No, 160. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's such a shame because, again, previously in this game, in a CPU bound scenario with the same CPU, same RAM and stuff, it was getting 200 plus on average, dude. It would get like 200 there. Not with this card because it would be at 99% usage with like 170 or 180 FPS. But still, uh, we should probably die. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? Or stay here? I, I don't know what to do, guys. We're gonna go ahead and play at 1440p, because if I enable the LSS, it's gonna be exactly the same experience, you know? I'm gonna do, like, ultra performance. We were getting 160s here. Still the same thing, okay? It's just lower GPU utilization, but the FPS are exactly the same. But here we go, 2560 by 1440, no DLSS, same very low settings preset, and we're getting the same FPS, but now GPU is actually maxed out. So this is the perfect balance between CPU and GPU performance. It's giving us very similar results in terms of averages, I think, as the... Uh, 1080p ultra settings did, right? Around 100 FPS average. So yeah, once again, I don't recommend people to buy the RTX 4060 as it's an 8 gigabyte model for 1440p gaming. And in all honesty, it also lacks a little bit of performance for this resolution. 
it's it's decent as an entry level 1440p card and it shows right here on ultra settings we were getting less than 60 fps sometimes on minimum settings you were getting 100 so that means on medium settings it would be a nice middle ground probably getting 60 to 80 frames somewhere around that but again, with newer titles being so much more intensive, even the 4080 isn't a 1440p card anymore. In the Remnant 2 video that I made, it dropped from 60fps very often at 1440p Ultra. Anyway, let's stop it there. 113fps average, pretty damn decent. And let's try to play with DLSS on quality. The only problem or major problem with DLSS in this game is that it's it might be a bit over sharpened and this is too dotty look at that it looks really bad the loot on the ground but aside from that it's all right and on a, a native 1440p monitor especially at 27 inches with high ppi it would look pretty good no problems i think i would still utilize it to achieve a, a bit higher fps and to make those little um, micro stutters a bit less noticeable as well Nice. Oh, there's another one from his squad. Nice, got him. Woo! That was nice. All right, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> but all right, it gets slightly higher GPU utilization, I guess, than 1080p native resolution at minimum settings. But it is... Oh, no, 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 don't... Ah, damn it, there was another one. And now the last thing to do is play at 4K for a little bit, just because of curiosity. Again, nobody should buy this car to play at 4K. Using the minimum settings, and we're in the ground already. In the big city, so let's make our way to Zarqua once again. Everything is so much better looking, oh my goodness. I love it every time I play games at 4K on this huge 42-inch monitor. It's beautiful, guys. Reload. Come on. Get over here, you bastard. All right. All right. No! Oh my god, he still got me. Are you serious? All right, apparently we're not going to Zarqua Hydroelectric after all, because we couldn't get there. But I can still go to the water here and see our FPS inside of it. Look at that. Ooh, dropping into the 40s. Yeah, that's not great. That's not what you want out of Call of Duty Warzone. So minimum settings, native 4K is not really a good choice. But let's do 4K with balanced DLSS. God damn it. See, my friends are already dying because they decided not to come with me to Zarqua Hydroelectric. All right, we're down here. Balanced DLSS at 4K. Well, it, it doesn't really look like native resolution, but it's passable. It, it's just massively over sharpened in this game. Um, but it is getting 60 plus FPS. So it, it's probably still possible to play this game at 4k on a 4060 it's just not that great of an experience since it sometimes drops close to 60 fps and you can feel a lot of those little micro stuttering issues that we're always talking about and they never listen all right we're almost at the end of the benchmark run we can achieve 100 frames per second at times that's quite decent actually yeah it, it, again if it was a smooth experience without stuttering it would have been great. 90 FPS average with like 65, 1% lows, whatever we got whenever we hit the water back there. That's a great experience. The problem is the micro stuttering just kills it uh, unless you have 100 plus FPS. Ooh, okay, this is promising. I wanted to do one more thing. I locked the FPS to 60 in uh, Rivetuner statistics server, all right? And it is getting a buttery smooth frame time graph right now look at that so locking the fps to your one percent lows or actually the one percent lows are terrible because of the micro stuttering so locking the fps to the minimum fps you see in the game will make it buttery smooth without the the micro stuttering issues here that means that locking it to like 100 fps at 1080p low settings or like 120 or so would probably just be capped at those frame rates the entire time while being buttery smooth at the same time, consuming less power as well, which is another thing. This GPU is amazing when it comes to power consumption, but if you lock the FPS, it becomes even more amazing. Um, and yeah, you can have a stutter-free experience like this. You know, that that's actually unexpected. I think 
the last time that I capped the FPS, not sure if it was with the built-in cap of the game, maybe it was. Um, I think it wasn't this smooth, it still had some micro stuttering issues. Oh, we killed each other. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was informative to you. Catch you in the next one very soon or not because I'm on a little vacation here of a week. So sorry if the uploads aren't as frequent these days, but I'll be back soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.